Hi, I'm Rob Wyman from Mound City Auctions, Coast to Coast Auctions, and the free online auction school. Today I'm going to show you how I'm using my smartphone in kind of a... Hi, I'm Rob Wyman from Mound City Auctions, Coast to Coast Auctions, and free online auction school.com. Today I'm going to show you how I'm lotting using my cell phone and auction flex. My wife and I kind of do it as an assembly line. And the reason is that if you use the uh, native app from auction flex, it won't let you zoom in on pictures. And by native app, I mean the application that lives on your phone has a different camera function than the one where you go to exactly the same place but you go directly there through the internet. That's the non-native app or the web-based app. The web-based app will let me zoom in just as tight as can be when you a lot of coins, uh, coin auction, jewelry auction, stuff like that. It's really important to have great pictures. We're not using anything fancy. We're just using a, a Galaxy S7 smartphone. Uh, this would work with probably your, your S5 or, you know, in the future, your S12, whatever comes out after this. It seems like as soon as you buy these things, they're already obsolete. It works great. Now, I have what I'm using here for kind of a tripod is a little stack of books. And I find out about what distance is a good focal point for this thing, for the coins to be really sharp. And I just lay it on some books. In this case, it's uh, two books and a an old DVD so it's, it's nothing very fancy but it has great results I have a little light here that I can point uh, a little desk lamp and then I'm just gonna go ahead now and, and zoom in on the actual action here and let you see what I'm doing but basically I've got the non-native app living on my phone uh, so I'm using the one on the web. My wife has already gone through and, and lotted these coins and described them but not taken pictures. She's using the native app because it's very quick for that, for fast lotting. Uh, and then I'm switching over and taking the picture. So it's sort of a two-step process. She labels them. In this case it says 100. I pull the piece of tape off. So I know we use painter's tape because it doesn't mess up stuff very much and doesn't leave a it's real easy to pull off. So I have a shield nickel. I'm going to get in here and search for lot number 100. I can get my thumb to work right. And you can see now as I zoom in that lot number 100 doesn't have any pictures as of yet. So let me zoom in on my phone so you can see what I'm doing. So at this point, it says image not found. So I'm going to click on the image button here. It's the one that looks like a little, a little picture of a mountain. And then I'm going to say snapshot. And I happen to be using this functionality differs between whether or not you're using uh, this browser or that. This is Firefox, so what's nice is it would let me record uh, with a camcorder here or with a camera. I'm going to pick camera, and then to put it right into Auction Flex. Now I'm going to center my coin up there, and then I'm just going to zoom in on it. And it's not perfectly centered, so now I can either move the coin or move the phone. That's pretty much perfect. Now see how nice and big that looks? Real crisp. Take a picture. Say OK. Flip the coin. Get it ready. Picture's uploading. Say snapshot. Camera. Get it centered. Zoom in tight. Move the phone maybe a tiny bit really simple really easy 
tell that okay. Nice, clean, crisp pictures. And you can do it just with your smartphone. I put the lot number on it, and before I hit done here, I check 100. This is lot, lot number 100. And I look at the number at the top. Yes, it's lot 100. I say done. I file it away in my box. And I'm, now I go to 101. And backspace. One. Oops, that's a 1001. Try again. 101. There it is. No pictures. I tell it picture. While it's getting ready, I say snapshot. I pull the piece of tape off. I always stick the little piece of tape that I pull off right in front of me so I know which lot I'm working on. I always do the, the front side of the coin first. In this case, it's a shield nickel, so that's the front. Usually the one of the date is the one you want to do first, the side with the date. Get it all centered up, make it look nice, get my hand out of the way. Nice crisp pictures. So that's how you lot using a two-step process. Very efficient, very, very fast. Uh, it might not look as good, but it's faster. And so that's how you do it. And I want to thank you for joining me.